Good morning, what's up with it? Today is Monday, September the 11th, Woo! and we are starting our second week of driver training at um, CDL School. This is my last week, man, I'm happy for that, because this is, a, it was, it's not, it was a, it was kind of a long process, but not a long process, if that makes sense. But anywho, you know, we got through the uh, permit. We got that. I'm adding hazmat to my license. I already started studying for that, started that process. Hopefully, I can do it, uh, take my test when I go down there to do my picture from a CDL. And hopefully, they can go ahead and add it on in the then. But I'm still going through it. So, um lot of information but it's you know at least it's just one thing i gotta study instead of four or five parts but yeah we, we starting our second week of driver training uh, at the cdl school so again i know like half of the day we be practicing our maneuvers um like our parallel parking our um our offset backing we keep practicing that like half a day and then the other half a day we go out driving which i'm excited for that because again as long as we getting better every day we are uh, a step closer to passing our cdl test and then we are done you know that driving part so uh again uh thank y'all for watching don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell so you can stay tuned to the journey. Because we first go, we first go and get it done. So if you're thinking about getting your CDL, I think it's a great idea. Just do your research on the schools you're going to. Is it a roadmaster school? Is it not considered a roadmaster school? Do you want to go through a company? Do you want to go third party school so you don't have to be under contract? All of those things. Uh, questions you know you should consider before you get started also you know just consider what you want to do do you want to drive for a company do you want to go into contract do you want to do your own business all of that is possible but again if you have any questions concerns feedback you know anything you can drop it in the comments or you can dm me on one of my social sites i have all the links at dallaspad.com you can also hit me up on there let's make it a great week everybody be safe love peace and hair grief good morning ting you two family man it is day uh man what is this seven yeah it's day seven of my uh last days of my cdl class um man we went out driving yesterday man i drove that thing man I, that was the best i drove man he had me up to like 50 man so i had to shift all the way up to like nine Woo! Yeah, I did. I did. Re I did really, really good yesterday. Like I said, every day, as long as we doing better than yesterday, progression is getting us closer to passing this test. You hear me? So I am excited to go driving today. I may go first today. I ain't gonna lie. I've been waiting. Y'all like my nose ring? It's like a little moon. Yeah, I, I think it's cute. But anyway, so yeah. I'm ready to go out driving today because yesterday I did uh amazing, just simply amazing. And I ain't gonna lie, he kind of pushed me yesterday. Like, why are you driving so slow? Because I was trying to stay in low gear. Like, just just ride. I mean, he ain't miss days. He made me speed that thing up, boy. But I'm glad he did because it helped me also. So yeah, I'm ready to go driving today. So we can go ahead and get it done. So now I feel like I got the the uh pre-trip down the maneuvers down as well as um you know the driving down so today is gonna be a lovely day i pray everybody have a great day including you all you know what i'm saying but if you haven't already hit that like button subscribe button and also hit that bell so you can stay up to date and, and, and stay in tune with the next steps of my journey i'm excited it is almost over guys say hey, uh what is today tuesday yeah yeah today tuesday so we got three more days and i am finished well you're three i'm gonna say three and a half days because i still got to do my test the test is like you can t like they say it can take up to two hours but it's based on you how quickly you get it done so you know let's get to it baby hey thanks for being here i know i can tell you now the best part yesterday it wasn't hot and today it rained overnight so it's, hopefully it don't get hot today neither you know what i mean Y'all stay hydrated. What's popping today is over and complete. I did okay today. I did the parallel park, parking. Okay, hold on. Perfect. Um, so we got three more days of driving training left for the CDL. I ain't gonna lie, I hit that, that perfect on that uh, parallel park with that big old thing. You know what I'm saying? Driving pretty, pretty, still pretty good. I just gotta continue perfecting my, you know, the driving part. Like, 
you know, was shifting the gears and everything like that. And I'm doing pretty good. Like, my upshift is real good. My downshift, the only thing I was doing was, like, when you downshift, you got to slow down to the speed you need to be in. And then you got to hit the, you got to, uh, basically you know, hit the gas to get it over 15 RPM and then shift gears. I was getting to uh, rev it up, basically. But that was it. Other than that, I did pretty good. So, uh, I got three, last three more days. Just finished cleaning everything, go finish perfecting everything. Uh, I got the pre-trip down pet. You hear me? I got the in-cab inspection down pet. Check, check. And I got the straight line back in pet. I got the, um, um, Offset down pack, parallel parking down pack. So in the parallel parking again, I did that perfect and did the same maneuvers for the offset uh, back and parking. So I, I, I'm very confident about that. I'm also very confident about passing the driving part. So uh, within the next day or two, I should have my test date and time so we can go get that part done and then done with that. The only thing left is I gotta do my hands fast. I'm not gonna do the tank or whatever because I don't wanna drive no gas truck nothing like that. But um I am getting I am getting my hands fast. I already started on it. I'm studying or whatever but dang I'm I'm trying to finish this part. Finish this week and uh then I can fully fully dive into the hazmat. It's only like 21 pages I can read that two three times a day. I'm giving myself two weeks to study the hazmat, it's only 30 questions when you go to the DMV. I should knock that out the first time around, too. So, we are almost complete with CDL school. Everything is looking good. I'm just, every day, again, getting better, cleaning everything up, perfecting everything, and I should be good. I, I, I got the, the, the first parts about it, you know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm still working on is my driving, because I got to get the damn shift right. Got to get that damn shift right. And that's it. You gotta get the damn shit. Now I remember all the little stuff. Look right, left when you get the intersections. Look right, left when you get the railroad track. You know, like all the little stuff. Like reset when you stop to go third gear. Don't turn and nothing higher than sixth gear. Like I'm getting all the little stuff. It's just again cleaning up everything, perfecting. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing real good for somebody who never drove a uh, manual before. I'm, I'm gonna say it. You know what I'm saying? So. That shit, that, that shit, today is over. I ain't even gonna harp too much on it or whatever. So, uh, if you can, hit that like button, the bell, subscribe button if you wanna stay tuned in this journey. I hope you do. Thank you for watching this thus far. And um, my application is moving forward. Cause I did, I did do an application um, for a job. I tell y'all more about that when I know more. Um, but they, they are running my backgrounds and stuff like that because I'm getting notifications about it. So it looks like every, everything is looking up, man. Every single thing is looking up. And that's all I can hope and pray and ask and thank God for. So, you know, tomorrow, every day is better. Every day above ground is, is, is a blessing. So, again, thank you for hitting that bell, like button, subscribe button. Peace. Tomorrow is... You know, you ready for tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, this this kind of stressful trying to make sure you get everything down pat. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you take the test, it ain't no cleaning nothing up. You just gotta be on point. And that's my thing. I wanna tell you, I wanna one and done that thing. You feel me? Alright, little piece of hair grease, y'all be safe out there. If, like we make it some rain, it be kind of sprinkling, but let's see. Hopefully so, because I we got rain last night, so I, it wasn't that hot today. So thank God for that. But anyway, I'm Remy. I have a great day. Be blessed. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are halfway through the week. It's Wednesday of our last week driver training for CDL, and I'm excited to get it over with because it's stressful. But it's just because you got to get take, and take so much stuff, remember so much stuff, whatever, whatever. But it's almost over. So, again, today we're just going to keep practicing. We're doing probably offset back in parallel parking, and then we go out driving, and that's pretty much what our day have been so again thank you for being here tuning in to my journey don't forget to hit the bell the like button subscribe button all of that so we can keep it going thank you be blessed have a great day good morning team man we are on day eight yeah we got this the last two days because we were going nine we the last two days of the driver training for the cdl 
I am excited to be done. I am excited, excited. Yesterday I drove really good, man. Say, and my instructor is also a testing examiner, and I was asking him, oh yeah, he he do the CDL test. He's just not doing mine. And I asked him, say, based on how I'm doing, what you thinking? And he was like, honestly, you're going to pass. Just remember to keep doing everything you've been doing, and you good to go to pass the first time around. Man, it made me feel good. Like, okay, because I sure have been stressing over this, man. But, yeah, we got one more official day of class after today, which is tomorrow on Friday. I should have my test date today. Uh, I made sure they, well, we made sure they had everything they needed yesterday. Um. But I should have my test date today, so I'll know when I'm testing, which the test is going to be next week. I just don't know which day and time as of yet, but I should know by the end of school today. I'm excited to pass. Now, I wish it could be tomorrow so I can, everything be fresh. <laughs> but um, between Friday and then when I take my test, I'm just going to continue doing what I do as far as studying, making sure I, the information is still fresh, still retained. I, I literally have the pre-trip down, the in-cab inspection down, the brake test down. That's all one test. Then from there, the skill test, I've been hitting that parallel park and that offset back. And like, you know what I'm saying? Perfecto. And um, then the driving, I've been doing real good with the driving. So, yeah, we all set here, baby. If we're going to pass this test first time around again, thank you for following my journey. Hit that like button, that bell button, that subscribe button if you have not already done so. And thank you for being here. Have a great day and be blessed. Okay, okay. I just got my test date. It is Wednesday at 7.30 a.m. Woo! I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. But it is now raining. So we just all sitting in the car waiting on our turn in the truck. But yeah, I just had to jump on here and say that 7.30 a.m. Wednesday, which Wednesday is going to be the 20th of September. Woo, let's get it, 7.30 in the morning. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. Let's hey, go. Hey, yo. Say, man, I drove that thing today, man. Look, I got the upshifting. I mean, the upshifting on point. And I was struggling with the downshifting because I was forgetting to rev it up before you go. Because you got you got double clutch for the test, so you got it. Clutch, neutral, rev it up to 50, at least uh, 20, about 15 RPM, and then clutch into your, into your gear. I was forgetting to rev it up. So, man, when I say I drove that thing smooth as butter in the day, you know what I'm talking about? I was shifting right. Man, uh, I, I know I'm going to pass my test. I got my test results Wednesday, 7 30 in the morning. I'm ready, though. I am ready. Say, we got one more day of class. I'm ready to drive. I ain't gonna lie. I'm ready to drive. I was doing the parallel parking perfect. I was doing the offset backing perfect. Straight line backing still good. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to take this test. I got the preacher down. People be coming to me asking me to help them with their preacher. I got the in cab inspection down to the T. You hear me? Like, boom. I, man, I did that much so fast and good. I was like, damn, I forget something. But now I'm on point already for this test, man. And I'm, I'm just excited. I, like, I'm so excited. I ain't even like nervous no more you know what i'm saying i'm just ready to go get it done so and one, we talked to somebody who went took and passed their test today and they was saying he was talking about some of the stuff we think the man gonna be tripping on he not you know he said he a, he a um, fair tester you know he's not hard as people think so you know because a lot of people was thinking he was because when you see him he, you know he looked like you know what i'm saying a tough cookie you know what i'm saying i'm gonna say that he looked like he he's he real stern and shit but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go take this test. What's up, man? I, I appreciate y'all for staying tuned because it has been a long two weeks. Long two weeks, man. It, it rained today. I had glad I, t I took my, uh, put my white umbrella in the car for the sun, but I'm glad I did that because it was raining. You still got to do your stuff in the rain, no matter what. You say rain, sleet, hell, snow, we out there. But we, I'm getting it done, man. I'm in a comfortable position. I know I'm going to pass my test. I just got to stay consistent. Um, the, the last company came today. So the first company that came was CRST. Then a company called Fastenal. And then a company called Snyder came today. So those are the three companies that came and basically, you know, basically offered us a job, told us what they had to offer. Um, all of them have its pros and cons, of course. But, um, 
I, I like Fast and All, but I'm not going to apply with them only because they 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 starting you out at like 750 800 a week. So it's like I'm already starting out with a pay cut because you got these other companies that's guaranteeing 12, 13, 14, and 15. So why would I want to do 800 a week? And I'm not, it's not that I'm not appreciative, but nah, I feel like I'm starting out with a pay cut. So, but it's a great company, great benefits. I ain't gonna lie, if they were paying a little more, I would do it. But, um, no. So, um, I like, I, I like what Snyder was talking about. I like what CRSC was talking about, to be honest. So, I really don't know. But also, there's some construction jobs I want to apply to where uh, they paying like between uh, 13 and 1500 a week to where, you know, you just going, you driving a dump truck and, you know, they putting either construction trash or dirt and stuff like that and you going to dump it somewhere else. They paying too. Some of them want experience, some don't. So, um, this is a guy at the school who, he's already doing that. He's a, he's a, he do the concrete truck. He gave me a whole lot of companies to apply for that do construction. And again, some do, or some want you to have experience, some don't. So, um, I got away, I got away my options. I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably apply to all of them. <laughs> See what they talking about. But overall, it has been a pretty good experience. Everything has been, been, been straight at the school. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything been straight. But I'll do a review of that later. It'll be my next video or something. I don't know. But yeah, thank y'all for hitting the bell, hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you for paying, you know, staying on this journey with me for my CDL. Take my test next week. I'm already claiming I am a CDL driver, licensed driver, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh, the, the good thing about another plus, Hazmat, Fast Now, and Snyder said they'll pay for it, but I think if I go with CRST, I'll have to pay for it. But either way, I'm putting hazmat on that thing because they pay you more for hazmat. So, yeah, still wearing my eyes trying to see what I'm going to do with this company I'm going to go with. But I'll keep y'all posted once I know more on the job. Hey, it's Love, Peace, and Hair Grease. Thank you for being here. Good morning, team, YouTube family. I have made it to the last day of my CDL driver training. My test is Wednesday morning, 7.30 a.m., and I am ready, man. I floated that thing yesterday. I was shifting right down, shifting right, turning right. Man, staying in my lane. Yeah, I was doing everything right, so I know I'm going to pass my test. Parallel parking, got that down. My offset backing, got that down. My straight line backing, I'm straight. So, yeah, we, we on the last day. We're going to still do the same thing today. We're going to go out driving. We're going to practice our offset back and our par uh, parallel parking. All of that. Straight. We don't really, we don't, and we do practice straight line backing because we don't just do that uh, exercise, but it's included in our offset backing and parallel parking. You have to straight line back. So as long as you can do it doing that, you should be good, right? So, man, today is the last day of CDL training for driving. Baby, I am, I'm ready to get finished. So I can start my hazmat. Well, I already started studying on the hazmat, but I haven't just deep dive in it because, you know, I'm still trying to stay focused on, you know, this step, get my CDL, CDL passing that test. So Wednesday after I pass this, I'm going to deep dive into my, um, my, um, hazard training, studying for my hazard, uh, test. Cause again, it's only 30 questions. I should knock that out the first time, but you know, you know, get that done and add that to my CD here. I have already started applying for jobs. I'll tell y'all more once I, you know, know which one I'm going with. Um and 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 so forth and so forth. But I thank you for being here. Hit that like button, that bell, that subscribe button, and let's have a great blessed day, everybody. Love, peace, and hair. What's up, everybody? I just finished my last day of CDL school. I drove great. I did my maneuvers great with the offset and the parallel parking. Um, today is September 15th, 2023. It's a Friday. I do take my uh, test this upcoming Wednesday so uh, at 7.30 in the morning. So a good way to start the day. Go ahead and stay consistent. Pass that thing. Once I pass it, they set me up an appointment to go to the DMV. Once I get to the DMV, 
I just take my picture, pay my state fees, and that's pretty much it. So, man, I'm very, very thankful for everybody who followed me on this experience. Don't forget that you can hit that subscribe button, that bell, hit that like button. Stay tuned because we ain't finished yet. I, I still got to take my CDL driving test, which is going to be next week on Wednesday morning. So, everything was cool. Like, the, the instructors were actually great. Like, uh, they, 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 they made it easy to understand, especially for the people who never drove uh, that type of truck. So uh, they, they, they really, really did good about walking us through it, teaching us how to switch the gears, downshift, upshift, you know, turn properly so you won't hit no curb, don't hit nobody. Like, it was really good. I'm very appreciative. I'm glad I went ahead and went there. So I'm almost finished. I got basically two more steps. Take my driving test pass it and go to the DMV, pay my fees and take and, and, and take my picture and that'll pretty much be it. But again, I thank you. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe button, and hit that bell. Thank y'all for being here. Have a blessed weekend and be safe out there. Thank you.